Hello, this is Brian with The Lit Cave, and I'm here to do my October 2014 book haul. And this book haul is a little insane, a little over the top. Likely there won't be a November book haul, or it'll be November mixed in with December, because... Yikes. Uh, so let me get started. I have a lot of books. I have 19 books to haul. Yeah, 19. 19 books to haul this month, uh, so I probably won't spend a lot of time talking about uh, many of them, but I, I'll mention a few, and then you'll see some in other videos. So, let's get started. The first book I'm going to mention is My True Love Gave to Me, which you are probably seeing on tons of hauls, tons of uh, videos right now. This came out uh, early October. And uh, this is just a gorgeous book. It's a collection of holiday short stories with a ton of young adult authors, including Holly Black, Ali Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Levithan, um, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Kirsten White, just a bunch, a bunch of authors, 12 different uh, holiday stories. And I love Christmas so much. Um, so I'm super excited to read this, but I'm going to hold off to reading it until December. Um, but I just wanted to buy it. It will be in my December to be read. Book number two is actually these four. So a friend of my wife's and mine gave me four books and it's four out of a series of seven. I know almost nothing about this series, but I've heard great things about the author, and I'm excited to read them, but I can't start right away because the first book I have is the fourth book, the third book, excuse me, which is called, it's Garth Nix, The Keys to the Kingdom series, and this is Drown Wednesday. Then I have book five, book four, excuse me, uh, which is Sir Thursday. I have book six, no, book five. I just ignore my counting because it's awful, the, uh, which is Lady Friday and book six, Superior Saturday. So I have uh, three, four, five, six. So I need to get one, two, and seven before I can start the series, but I'm very thankful for the gifts that were given through those four books. She picked them all up at Goodwill, I think, at good prices, so that's really uh, exciting, and I'm glad she got a good deal on them. Um, and I'm excited to read something by Garth Nix, but I need to get some of the other books first. So that is book two, three, four, and five of this month. Uh, book six and seven are the third and fourth book of the Castor Chronicles, Beautiful Chaos and Beautiful Redemption. So I've read Beautiful Creatures. I already owned Beautiful Darkness, um, but I didn't have Beautiful Chaos and Beautiful Redemption, so now I have the whole series. I'm hoping to pick that up pretty soon and finish out the series and see how it is. I've heard some good things and some not so good things. So I'm hoping for good things. Uh, as I finish out that series, the Castro Chronicle series. Okay, the next book that I got was The Sky is Everywhere. And I actually got this, I ordered three books from Amazon, and I found this book in paperback on Amazon like for $5.64. And shipping was going to be like $5.15 for that order. So I was like, well, I'll pay 50 cents more and get this book for free because after $35, there's no shipping. So I ended up getting this book for basically 50 cents. Um, I already finished reading it. It's so beautiful. Um, it's it's another one of those te tearjerker stories about a young girl trying to cope with the loss of her sister. So if you've experienced the death of a family member or uh, illness of a family member, this might not be a book you want to read right away, or it may be something that really helps you to deal with what you're feeling. Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful story, painful at times. Um, but this is The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. So I really enjoyed reading that. Okay, um, the next book that I got was Vicious, and Vicious was the, um, I think it was the 2014 Reading Challenge, uh, or Genre Challenge, YA Book of the Month. I think that's what it was. I know it was a book club's book, and I just can't remember which one right now. I have to go double check. This is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, and I've seen some people talking about it online. Um, really interesting book. Um, and I already read this one as well, so uh, so Vicious by V.E. Schwab was another one of them. So, All right, the next thing I got was they were having a sale at Half Price Books for 20% off for teachers, and I'm a teacher. So I found the 
Holly Black Modern Fairy Trilogy, uh, which includes, whoop, let me start with the first one. It includes Tithe, Valiant, and Ironside. So I found these three books, the whole series, they were basically $3 a piece uh, when I bought them with my discount. So really good deal. I've wanted to read them. I, I'm, I'm really interested in them partially because I know that they're tied into the Mortal Instrument series, that the fairies in the Mortal Instrument series are based off of um, some characters from this series. And I think that's super cool. So I'm interested to read what Holly Black does with these fairies since they're really her creatures. Uh, so I'm interested to read those. Okay, the next book I got is I'm trying to build a little bit on reading the classics. Um, and I'm also going to be teaching um, this book for the first time. Uh, I haven't read it since I was in ninth grade, but I loved it so much when I was in ninth grade. One of my two favorite books in all of school, like from, from junior high through high school, it was one of my two favorite books I ever read. So I was really excited to read it and pick it up. And um, so I've been reading it. It is a lot harder to read than I remember, but it, probably because it's been a while since I've read any classics. And I want to build that part of my reading skill back up. So I picked up A Tale of Two Cities. And this is the Penguin Hardcover Classic Edition, which is really a cloth-bound book, and it's so beautiful, such a nice collection, uh, such a nice book to add to my collection. So I'm really excited about owning it. I'm about 150, 160 pages through right now. It's 390-page story. Um, so uh, I am going to finish it out, um, but I'm kind of taking a break a little bit right now. So uh, the classic that I've decided to read next month in November, I went ahead and ordered, and that is Animal Farm by George Orwell. Now, this one I've never read. It's in the curriculum at my school for eighth grade. And here I am, you know, 32, never read the book. So I figure it's time. And um, I also know that uh, Ariel Bissett constantly talks about how much she loves George Orwell. So I was interested to see why the fuss, Ariel. Why is it so great? Um, but I found this edition, and I think the cover to this edition is awesome. It's 50th anniversary edition that I ordered through Barnes & Noble, and I got for a really great deal. Um, I had a 15% off coupon, plus I, I'm a Barnes & Noble member, so I ended up getting this for less than $10. So I'm excited about it and looking forward to reading it. This will be one that I read next month. It's a nice, thin classic, so it can help me get my reading count up um, and also help me build my classic reading uh, skills. So... The next book I got, and this was that order I, I got from um, Amazon where I added uh, uh, The Skies Everywhere, but this is The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, which is the sequel um, to The Cuckoo's Calling. Uh, Robert Galbraith is a pseudonym for J.K. Rowling, and this is a series that she started uh, about a detective named Cormoran Strike, and um, I really, really enjoyed the first one been a while since I've read some detective fiction, and it feels a little bit different than normal detective fiction. I, I just really enjoyed it. I like that J.K. Rowling tends to make her heroes and heroines not your average um, heroes. Like, Hermione, you know, had frizzy, horrible hair and buck teeth, and, and you don't think of that when you think of who you want to be the hero, but it helps people who don't feel like they're the most beautiful, the most attractive, to relate to the main character. Now, when we think of Hermione, we think of Emma Watson in the movies, and she of course, is beautiful, but um, but J.K. Rowling wrote it a little bit different. And Cormoran strikes no exception. I mean, he's a big dude who's overweight, you know, was fit once, but he's overweight, he smokes too much, he's got bad hair, he's, he's hairy all over his arms and body and stuff like that, and um, he's missing a leg. But you really end up rooting for him and just loving him as a character. So I really encourage you to read anything by Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. I'm looking forward to reading this sequel. Okay, we're almost there. The next two books I bought are because of Catriona over at Little Book Owl. So I'm a member of the Little Book Club, and they voted on a book for November that is going to be a Norwegian author. And so they voted, and the book that I voted for did not win, but the book that I voted for is called Buzz Aldrin, What Happened to You in All the Confusion? And I absolutely adore the title of this book. It's, it reminds me of a Sufjan Stevens song, um, but the back of this says, a pop-saturated epic novel about the second man on the moon and the quiet 30-year-old gardener who, who Im idolizes him. A story of unconventional psychiatry, the Faroe Islands, amateur boat building, and the journey across the space that divides us from other people. A journey as remote and dangerous as the trip to the moon itself. So I love everything about the title for this book, everything about this book. Really interested in reading it. 
Um, so Buzz Aldrin, what happened to you and all the confusion. Now the book that did win, I also ordered, and that book is The Twist Rose Key. And this is a middle grade book, and it's supposed to be kind of uh, in some ways similar to the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, but the idea is a really interesting uh, idea, and it has to do with uh, people's connections to their animals and what happens to the animals when they pass on, the kind of life that they take on. So it should be a really interesting, fun, light read. The Twist Rose Key. All right, I got two left. The last two, um, one of them was probably most people's most anticipated book this fall, and that is... The Blood of Olympus, the last book in the Heroes of Olympus series. Uh, I loved the book, loved, loved, loved the book, loved the series. So glad I have it. Can't wait for his um, um, the Norse mythology series to come out. So, Blood of Olympus. And the last book is Justice League Forever Heroes. Um, so, very excited that I got to read this. I do love picking up graphic novels. I do collect Justice League graphic novels. And uh, so that continues on with my Justice League collection. So this video is long because I had 19 books to share with you, but uh, I'm really excited about them. And if you've read any of these, tell me which ones I which one I should read first or which one you were most excited about. Um, tell me what you think about the Caster Chronicles. Tell me what you think about the Keys to the Kingdom series or the Modern Fairy Tale series that I've got, you know, several books from those three collections here in the set. Um, but anyway, uh, if you like the video, you know, thumbs up, feel free to subscribe or, or leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to respond. And, uh, until the next video, uh, thanks for stopping by. See you next, next time. Same lit time, same lit channel.